Hi guys, this video is to let you know of an exciting new development in one of uh, my favourite mods, and in fact for the modding community in general. Um, Sky UI, which as all of you will know is the single most downloaded and endorsed mod of all time on Nexus, is getting ready for version 3. Now version 3, um, I try out an alpha and there are a couple of nice um, features. It's it, The icons are kind of cool now. There's colour on the icons. It's, uh, it's very nice to look at. But that's not the exciting thing. Sky UI is adding a few new features that are of special interest to other mod makers. And they've released an alpha with one of those features now enabled. And that feature is something we call the MCM menu system. Now MCM stands for the Mod Configuration Menu and was actually a mod created for Fallout New Vegas by a mod author called Pelinor. Uh, and it was a brilliant mod because what it allowed was other mod authors to use this system to create in-game setting menus for their own mods. So no more having items in your inventory or powers or spells to summon fairly basic menus. It was a, an in-game menu system that was very easy to use both as a mod user and a mod maker. And a similar system has been added to Sky UI. Now if you press the escape key and go to the main settings, the main options menu, there is a new option, mod config, just below settings. And when you click on there you get this nice little logo and at the moment I've got two mods that have mod configurations, Sky UI and Immersive Hood. I'm expecting there to be a lot of mods fairly quickly. Um, as, I, as I said, this, is, this, is, this system is a lot easier to use and it's actually, believe it or not, once you get used to how to make them, it's faster to make these menus than it is to make the old style menus. So if I click on Sky U, it opens up the pages you've got up, uh, possible, say General, and I can change the alignment of things. I haven't played with these much actually. You can change um, hotkeys, fonts, and there's even something called widgets. I'm going to cover that at a later date. And if you click back on the um, left hand side, you go back to the main menu. Now I've converted Immersive HUD over to this new menu system. And for example, I can change the toggle compass hotkey. Click on this. It then asks you to press a button. I'm going to press a mouse button. As you can see, mouse 4. It detects mouse buttons. No problem. I can change options so that... Um, oh, I want my crosshair when wielding a melee weapon. Uh, but not with a spell. I don't know. Whatever you want. I'm going to turn the stealth indicator off. Hide shout meter with compass and so on. Um, there are some very cool options. Like um, I have in iHood, you have the option to change the transparency of things. So for example, if you want a very faint compass, now you get this bar. Instead of having to type a number, I can drag this to say 50% and accept. Um, the crosshair, I can actually take that up to 150, which makes it even easier to see. This is percent um, and compares to the normal and so on. And you can see how easy this menu is to work. And when I go back into game, as you see my compass there, that changed. The settings are changed almost immediately. Very useful indeed. Um, a much easier system to use than opening up a spell power um, or going to the console and typing in global variables. So this is a very exciting development for mod makers. This is an alpha release. The, the alpha has been released mostly aimed at mod makers to try it out, to download, have a go, try to see how easy it is to make those menus, give some feedback, etc. Um, so that hopefully once Sky UI 3 is released um, as the official version, there will be a lot of mod makers able to simply switch over to the new system. Um, you obviously, if you really want to try this out and you're not a mod maker, you can, but be aware there's very little in it that has changed, uh, except as, as you can see, there, is, there are some nice color icons, etc. So, but there is very little, unless mod authors actually release their mods with these menus in advance before Sky 
UI releases officially, there's probably not that much benefit in you guys downloading it. Um, you should be aware that you require the very latest beta version of SKSE as well. So you need to go along to the SKSE beta page and download and install it correctly. And I do mean you must install it correctly. Um, I, a lot of people still making the mistakes of just copying the files into the main folder and are not copying the script files correctly. Um, and they think because they can type in get SKSE version and get a response, they have it installed correctly. It's not installed correctly unless the scripts are in the correct place because Skyrim uses scripts that are external to the ESPs. Um, this is a requirement. I have made a video on how to install SKSE since the 1.6 patch. Uh, I'll link to it. Please check that out if you're in any doubt as to whether you have got SKSE installed correctly. It's an absolute must. Okay, so mod makers, etc. Go off, take, uh, take the alpha, for a spin, try it out. Um, it it doesn't take long to figure out how to make these menus, and I am going to make a video showing you how to make one from scratch. Um, there is documentation already available, but I realize some people prefer to see these things happening, so I will make a video showing you how to do it, showing you how easy it is, and I'm telling you, once you've made one of these, you'll never go back. It, this menu I made here for Immersive Hood, if I was to make it again from scratch, would probably take me half an hour to an hour maximum to get it working exactly as it was, which is a lot less time than it took me to get the helper menus for things like DynaVision and any menus with books, etc. And as you can see, it's a lot easier to use, a lot more pleasant to look at as well. Anyway, guys, hope this helped.